Now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. Well, still tracking us some downpours and some thunderstorms, though fortunately the intensity has started to uh, wane. So some are strong, but as far as any uh, severe storms, that continues uh, to diminish. Take a look at North Situate just starting uh, to rain right now. Temperatures that are in the 60s. You'll see some flashes of lightning here. And uh, as a thunder continues from northwest to southeast and in downtown Providence, it's actually pretty good visibility. You didn't really see much in the way of weather tonight in terms of thunder, but what's left of the thunderstorms and they are weakening. We'll be passing through downtown Providence in the next uh, roughly hour. Here's the uh, Doppler radar and that's the areas of yellow and orange indicating uh, some of the uh, heavier downpours extending uh, through um, southeastern Connecticut. At one point we had a uh, tornado watch for northern Rhode Island that has expired and, and keep in mind with the, um, the terminology uh, a tornado watch means potential or possibility. It doesn't mean that there's a tornado anywhere on the ground. So watch means maybe or potential. Whereas a warning means either a tornado has been spotted in a certain area or radar is showing an indication that a tornado is forming. So the big, big difference between watch and warning. So we were in watch mode tonight and that has since expired. Route 44, uh, Route 6, Situate, Gloucester, here's downtown Providence. And this is tracking off now to the south and east. Uh, some gusty wind. So, you know, some strong thunderstorms, but again, the severity has really dropped off, so we don't have any additional severe thunderstorm warnings. The only one we really had was in far northern Rhode Island about a, an hour and a half ago, but the line stretches from Plymouth and Boston through our northern suburbs and all the way down through uh, coastal Connecticut, so it'll take a while to eventually head offshore, but it will during the overnight, and we wake up tomorrow morning, we've got some sunshine. So overnight tonight, the threat tracker is low, and for the weekend, it looks quiet both uh, Saturday and Sunday. No storms, no frost or freeze, so it looks pretty good. So storms diminishing um, as, as far as intensity uh, this evening and overnight, but still getting some downpours, some gusty wind, and some flashes of lightning. Uh, a pleasant weekend. I mean, Saturday is warmer temperatures in the uh, lower to middle 70s. I mean, Sunday's not bad, but it is cooler. Looking at temps there in the mid-60s. Uh, unfortunately, unsettled weather returns early next week on Monday and Tuesday. It's still mild in the upper 60s, so still 70 in Smithfield, 68 Providence, and westerly at 65. So the line of storms from really coastal Maine down through Pennsylvania. Here's the wider view. Look at the sharp clearing line just passing through Buffalo, New York. So this dry air across the Great Lakes headed our way overnight and the risk of severe weather. There's a little yellow sliver here of a slight category, but even that might be pushing. And I think the risk has really uh, come down quite a bit as far as um, any damaging wind or some hail. Get in real close. I'm going to show you how this all slides offshore during the overnight. Here we are tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. with some sunshine. Watch the temperature go up with some sun. Low to mid 70s inland and 60s along the coastline. Real nice day. Tomorrow evening, the temperature starts to cool off bit. Tomorrow night's not bad. Increasing clouds and cool and dry for your Saturday night. So for tomorrow morning, looking good by 11 a.m. 68. Tomorrow afternoon, 70, 75. Sunscreen, sunglasses, a must. Seven day forecast. A little cooler on Sunday, but overall uh, looking okay. 65 with a mix of clouds and sun. Unsettled, raw and chilly, unfortunately, both Monday and Tuesday with some rain and drizzle. So Mike and Shannon, still some thunderstorms and some downpours, but really wouldn't classify these as severe anymore, but uh, some heavy rain likely next few hours. All right, Tony, thanks.